All right, so we're going to install our piston and connecting rod. Um, oh, I need to show them in the book. Can you see the book? Uh, look up a little bit there, perfect. Okay, um, so it says with crankshaft throw in the bottom position, so we want the crank at bottom dead center. Make sure the number on the connecting rod is towards the oil cooler side, so the stamps goes towards this, this side of the engine. And then their orientation lugs on one side of the upper and lower sections of the connecting rods, they face the front. Okay? And then the caps are going to torque to 118, 137. Got my torque wrench set to that. Okay. The orientation lugs they're talking about are right here. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, so that's going to go to the front of the engine, which would be this way. There's stamps here. You can see they're on the opposite side of this right here. That would go to the oil cooler side, which is on this side of the engine. Okay, we're going to orient our rings. We're going to go not on our thrust face there. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to put that one at 180 degrees from it. And then we're going to put our oil control ring at 90 from that. Okay, we want to lube the heck out of it, put lots and lots of oil on there, you can't have too much. We're going to lube our bearing, oh, lube our bearing, so we're going to come in here, this is number one, we're going to lube this up really good, it makes a mess. This is our piston compressor, piston ring compressor. You see there's kind of a scratch there, so you want to check. That one probably wouldn't hurt to be cleaned up a little. It should be okay for this. Oh, should be okay for this though. You can kind of see there's some scratches, but notice it's smaller on this side and larger on this side. Okay, so the tapered end is going to go towards the top of the engine. Uh, we're going to double check our ring, Dang it. ring orientation. Looks like one's there, there, and there. Just make sure they're not on the thrust faces. Okay. Okay. Now we want our lug up, which is right there. Okay, we're going to slide this in here carefully. Get my skirt started and I'm going to come to the bottom side. Ooh, Ooh where'd that rag come from? Oh, okay. We're going to orient our, our connecting rod here so that that comes in nice and even. I need my hammer for a pusher. Can you see that, Sean? Yep. Okay. We want to push that in in one continuous motion, if, it, if at all possible. Not like that. <coughs> Pistons installed. Okay. Now we're going to take our guide bolts off. Get my cap, make sure my bearing's seated in there correctly. Make sure you wipe off the oil on the back side of the bearing. Wipe the cap out. We're gonna install our bearing with the, the tang, push it back and forth, make sure it's centered. The tang always goes to the tang. Can you see where I'm pointing, Sean? Not really. Look up a little bit. It's light. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll go with it. <laughs> I'm going to lube my bearing. And I'm going to stall my cap. I'm going to put my connecting rod bolts or nuts on. Like so. Um, you can also see 
right here are some numbers. Can you see those at all? Look to me a little bit right there. Mm, can't really see them. Okay. Well, here we can see them. We can see them on this one. Those go together. Yeah, get a little closer to it. Right there. There you go. Okay. We're going to torque our nuts down after we lube the threads. Just a dab of oil in there. I get my torque wrench. I usually take them down, I'll take one side down halfway and the other side before I go to full torque usually. Most of them say to torque on the tang side, which would be this side. I'm going to snug quick. Okay. And that one's installed. I was talking about the tangs, which are here and there. You see the two tangs? Can you see those? Yeah. Um, those always go together on just about every engine I've come across. I'm not going to say all of them, but most of them. It's usually the way to know which way the cap goes on. Just remember the lug orientation here and here. goes to the front. Everyone does it a little different. Um, <coughs> some engines will actually put a front on the crown of the piston or they'll have an identifying mark telling you how that works. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install our second piston. I'm going to put my, can you see my ring gap there? Uh, a little bit. Right there? Yeah. It's my end gap. I'm going to put the other one 180 degrees from it. And then 90 from those on the oil control. Put my guide studs on here again. Okay. Same thing with this one. We're going to lube the heck out of it. Make sure there's plenty of oil on it. Okay. Lube the compressor as well. Can't really have too much oil. A lot of guys will dip it in a bucket. Try not to make a mess, so I'm not going to do that today. Okay, get that on there. We're going to come over here and lube number six. So you do one and six at the same time, and then we would do two and three, or sorry, two and four, and, or sorry, no, <laughs> three and four, and two and five. Okay, same thing. I'm going to find my identification logs again, which are right there. And that goes up. Same thing with this one. Okay, go to the bottom and make sure that it's looks like it's right. Those uh, dowels keep from scratching the crankshaft. And I'm going to take my pushing tool. Oh, except for right away you want to put your rod bearing cap back on so you don't mix them up. Oh. So there again the numbers go, can you see the number there? Yep. Numbers go to the oil cooler side and it's hard to see but there's a number there. Usually what I do is stab both pistons and then torque both connecting rods at the same time just to save some time. So don't try and put the piston in at top dead center because you'll never get it in. But same thing here, we're going to come through here, snug it, do the tang side first, torque the other side. 
And I forgot to put oil on that, so I'm going to take it up to 137. This is what the spec was. I guess I forgot to lube it. And we're done. Oh, one more thing. We should mark our caps. Oh, thank you. I'm going to come through and mark my cap saying that I've torqued those. Not worried about it anymore. I'm going to make them face the same way as my main bearings. Just for simplicity. I say double checks my torque and all that fun stuff. Okay, after you're done installing your connecting rods, Move them up and down like that. Make sure you have side play. That kind of double checks that you didn't pinch a bearing or two studs in the top to turn up. Turns over pretty smooth. It's not going to turn over the best because we're sitting on in like this. And I forgot to mark these two, so I'm going to go ahead and mark those two. You can see they're all installed. If I had cooling nozzles, that would be the next thing I would put in. That same thing here. Got side play there. Side play there, you can feel it. And then I'm gonna turn it over and check my other two. So I forgot to show you that earlier. Side play there. Side play there. Okay.